Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to be ranking all 29 mechs in Mech Arena. So the last time I made this tier list, Scorpius was the newest mech, but we got uh, Nomad and Hemlock who entered the game. So uh, let's uh, rank every mech in the game. So at number 29 as the worst mech in the game, we've got MD. So MD, just really trash guys. It's an uncommon mech and uh, it's also light. And after the great update, uncommon and light mechs just haven't been viable and healing just really isn't that much and has pretty low health and it's only a matter of time until we get a legendary version of md because md is the only healer in the game and it's really trash so i'm definitely thinking we're going to be getting a legendary version of it so yeah md pretty trash at the moment and then at number 28 we got slingshot so slingshot really trash you got killshot nomad who are literally a better version of it Although it can be viable when you uh, use Mortars uh, as a non-brawler mech, it's still really trash because uh, it just gets destroyed really easily. It has the lowest health in the game, like only 67,000 health at max level. Like That's really low compared to other mechs, so Slingshot, really trash. And then at number 27, we've got Puma. So Puma, just like Slingshot's really trash because you've got Panther, who's literally a better version of it. And... Aegis also a better Puma now because it pretty much has it's like the same thing. It's just a Puma but with a bigger shield, really. So yeah, and the shield doesn't even have that much health. It's only a really good early game anyway, so Puma are really trash at the moment. And then at number 26 we got Lancer. So I'm sad to say it, but Lancer is unfortunately one of the worst mechs in the game. It used to be a pretty viable mech before the great update, but it's not good anymore because it didn't get a any health boost and it's a light mech and light mechs again are just not viable so Lancer are pretty trash at the moment and then at number 25 we got Paragon so Paragon doesn't have that much health he does have heavy energy but he only has a little bit of health so that's gonna turn down if you um he's only really good if you're like using non brawler weapons, like if you're not using disc launchers, like if you're using mortars or EM rifles, he can be somewhat viable, but other than that, he's pretty trash at the moment. And then at number 24, we got uh, Arachnos. So Arachnos is still pretty trash. The Spire Turret's really insignificant, it does barely any damage. And uh, yeah, that's it. His build is useless, so Arachno is really inconsistent at the moment. And then number 23, we got Zephyr. So ever since they nerfed the Shock Pulse ability, he's just been pretty trash. Uh, although you, it will um, last for a pretty decent amount of time if you are using implants, uh, he's pretty trash at the moment because you got um, better mechs like Hemlock is pretty much a better Zephyr. Surge also a better Zephyr. And his uh, range of the ability is also really short. It's really easy to counter this mech and got eclipse so it just destroys zephyr anyway so zephyr pretty trash and then number 22 we got juggernaut so juggernaut is not really that tanky as he used to be but yeah his ability is also not the best because it's only for a little bit at a time and doesn't have that much health but early game he's pretty viable but other than that he's not really good and then number 20, we got Tengu. So in my past tier list, I actually put Tengu like in the A tier, but Tengu is truly C tier. Like he's really bad at the moment. He um only has a little bit of energy and light mechs just aren't that good ever since the great update. And uh, shotguns, he used to be so good with that weapon and shotguns are trash now because they're only uncommon. And he can do good with fragment guns, but he can only carry eight energy weapons on max level which is really bad and you got eclipse who could use double 12 weapons like eclipse with fragrant gun or amber guns is so dominant but tengu yeah he's only light so he's been really trash at the moment and then at number 20 we got aries so i so just like tengu i actually put aries pretty high but aries just is outdated now his Ability um, doesn't have that much health anymore. He doesn't have that much health. Sentinel is a better Ares because shield has more health. So, yeah, Ares not really the best. Only good near the early game. But, yeah, Ares not the good at the moment. 
And then at number 19, we got our Shadow. So, Shadow's ability is pretty good, but he's only light, so he's going to be shooting marshmallows at the enemies. And, yeah, it's just sad to see that light mix have to be in the state, so Shadow, not really the best at the moment. And then number 18, we got Cheetah. So, Cheetah is near, like, a balanced mech. The mines are just too easy to avoid it if you're a pro player you can just use surge to dash through them or no metal kill shot and you can or you can just get around them so although you can block some points it's not really a good mech anyway so but he would be a balanced mech usually and then at number 17 we got our red ox so red ox is really good because he's a legendary he has pretty good stats but and he has legendary um um what is it uh 32 energy at max level, sorry. And, uh, yeah, but he's just slow. That's the only thing, uh, problem he really has at the moment. It's just too slow. Uh, but, yeah, Red Ox, just the bounce neck. Uh. And then number 16, uh, we got Scorpius. So, Scorpius, pretty bounced mech. Uh, he's, his ability is uh, okay-ish, uh, I suppose. You can use him with Mortar as a... Uh, or um, Helix Racks uh, or Javelin Racks, uh, and he can dominate there. But yeah, I would just consider him balanced mech because the ability is not really the best. Uh, so yeah, pretty balanced. Uh. And then number 15, uh, we have um, where is he? Uh, uh, Guardian. So Guardian has always been a solid mech. His ability is just super insane with discs and railguns, he can dominate, but. Ever since the great update, I feel like there's been better choices rather than Guardian. So, Guardian is um still really a good mech, but there's just better options at the moment. And then number fourteen, we got Stalker. So Stalker also really a good mech, but a really good mech. But since he's only rare, his his stats aren't really that good compared to the other mechs like the Epics and Legendaries, which are are ruling the game right now. So. But I'll, but Stalker is definitely above average. And then number 13, we got Sentinel. So Sentinel is really good. Uh, his ability has more health than Ares. Uh, it's, um, he has a lot of health also. Like one of the highest HPs in the game actually. But there, there's better choices. So he's also an above average mech. And then at number 13, we got Brickhouse. So... Brickhouse has a really good support ability, just boosting so much damage. You're like you, you can just shred everything when you use this ability. But he's slow, which is the only thing that um pushes him down a bit. But he could have been higher if he was a bit faster. And he also has that health. But Brickhouse definitely super good at the moment. And then at number eleven, we got Gatecrasher. So Gatecrasher's ability is just insane. The amount of damage you can deal is so much, and the splash, and you can put it anywhere. You can stick it to the walls of your teammates, and you can get a lot of control with that. So you get Crasher, definitely a really solid mech at the moment. And then at number 10, we got Onyx. So Onyx's ability is so OP, guys. You can pretty much just one shot to anything for splashing it on the ground like so much makes can get one shot and does insane amount of damage and he has heavy energy which is just insane and he also has a lot of health so onyx really strong at the moment i must say and then number nine we got a uh, kill shot so kill shot so strong at the moment the Dash, really good. Unfortunately, he's no longer the best mech like he used to be. Like, those days are kind of over now, but he's really good. at Such a strong mech. And then, number eight, we got Nomad. So, Nomad is pretty much just a better kill shot, so that's why I put him one tier over him. But, yeah, the fact that he can just dash two times is insane. And he also has a lot of health, I must say. Like, it's pretty hard to take down a Nomad, and... You can just destroy everything. It's just such a OP mech. I could have actually put him even higher, in, if I must say. But, yeah, Nomad is insane at the moment. And then number 8, we got um, Panther. So, Panther right now, very strong mech. The wall is just insane. It denies uh, um, any 
um, attention and uh, yeah, it's indestructible, which is really good. And yeah, you can just use it to, whenever you're going out in the open, like and just use cover and then use your ability and you can just snipe with Ian Rifles or Rogan. So Panther also really good at the moment. And then at number eight, we got, um, where is he, Orion. So Orion has always been OP ever since the release. The ability is just way too strong, guys. It, and the fact that it also applies a static effect is insane because you can just finish off everyone. You can confirm kills and yeah, it's just such a strong mech, I must say, guys. Orion, one of the worst worth the mechs. If you're on tier six, I definitely consider would consider buying him because he's just such an insane mech at the moment. And then at number six, we got the newest mech, Hemlock. So Hemlock's ability is pretty OP, I must say. It's pretty busted. It's just like you get to stun them and then you deal damage and give them an EMP like it's you can't move for so long. And yeah, it's probably one of the most game-changing abilities ever. I could have actually put him lower possibly, like maybe I put him a bit too high, but... Hemlock is insane at the moment. And then number five, we got Aegis. So, guys, after that rework to his dome shield, Aegis is insane. The dome shield practically can't die because it just has way too much health. So, and it would pretty much expire before you, got to you get to destroy it anyway. So, pretty much, it's like they the only change they made to him is where he can shoot through the dome. And that's insane. You don't have to deal with the annoying bots uh, or bad players who have to put the dome to block your attack but this change is just insane pretty much a better panther now who aegis is so he is very strong at the moment i would definitely consider nerfing him and then number four we got um redeemer so redeemer just still insane his backtrack ability just gets you out of so much situations and you get to remove all the effects like so much effects that are um dominating at the moment like emp the uh, hunter's mark and the ecm from hemlock so yeah he is so op and he's very fast which makes him such a versatile choice so redeemer still strong at the moment and then as a third best mech we've got eclipse so eclipse is just too op right at the moment you just use your ability you go through everyone and you, you pretty much can't be touched because you're too fast and you can go in there without having to worry about a single thing like you're immune to every type of effect and effects are kind of the main thing that are um dominating at the moment so eclipse really good at the moment just insane ability guys and he's so fast and has a lot of health so yeah definitely need an orphan and then as a second best mech in the game we've got bastion so Bastion, insane at the moment. He's so tanky. His um shield is so OP, and yeah, he's definitely like one of the best mechs in the game. And then as the best mech in the game, we've got uh, uh Surge. So Surge right now is just busted, guys. His ability is so OP. Like you just get to stun them, go behind them, probably get like like three kills or something if you're able to get stun so much players and then you just get to run away with the ability and yeah so Sarge really insane at the moment guys so yeah that wraps up my tier list if you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video